Let's denote the given integral by i. Now recall a property of definite integrals, that integral 0 to a fx dx is equal to integral 0 to a f of a minus x dx. Using this result, the given integral i can be written as integral 0 to pi. In the integrand, replace x with pi minus x, so we get pi minus x divided by 1 plus cos alpha times sine of pi minus x dx. Sine of pi minus x is equal to sine x. And the given integral i can be broken into two components. The first component is pi times integral 0 to pi dx upon 1 plus cos alpha sine x minus the second component which is equal to integral 0 to pi x dx upon 1 plus cos alpha sine x. Notice that the second integral on the right hand side is equal to i and therefore the given equation can be written as 2i is equal to pi times integral 0 to pi dx upon 1 plus cos alpha sine x. Now let tan of x upon 2 be equal to t. Taking the derivative of both sides we get half of sec square x upon 2 dx is equal to dt or in other words dx is equal to 2 dt divided by sec square x upon 2 which is equal to 1 plus tan square x upon 2 and therefore dx is equal to 2 dt upon 1 plus t square. Now recall that sine of x is equal to 2 tan x upon 2 divided by 1 plus tan square x upon 2 which is equal to 2 t upon 1 plus t square. Also when x is equal to 0 which is the lower limit of integration t is equal to tan of 0 upon 2 which is equal to 0 and similarly when x is equal to pi the upper limit of integration t is equal to tan of pi upon 2 which is equal to infinity. Substituting these results 2i is equal to pi times integral t going from 0 to infinity 2 dt divided by 1 plus t square times 1 upon 1 plus cos alpha times 2t upon 1 plus t square. The right hand side is equal to 2 pi times integral 0 to infinity dt upon 1 plus t square plus 2t cos alpha. In the denominator we add and subtract cos square alpha. Note that t square plus 2t cos alpha plus cos square alpha in the denominator is equal to t plus cos alpha whole square and therefore 2i is equal to 2 pi times integral 0 to infinity dt upon t plus cos alpha whole square plus 1 minus cos square alpha which is equal to 2 pi times integral 0 to infinity dt upon t plus cos alpha whole square plus sine square alpha. This is equal to 2 pi times 1 upon sine alpha times tan inverse t plus cos alpha upon sine alpha and the limits being t is equal to 0 and t is equal to infinity. Putting in the limits, the value of 2i is equal to 2 pi upon sine alpha times in brackets pi upon 2 minus tan inverse cos alpha upon sine alpha. Now cos alpha upon sine alpha is equal to cot alpha which is also equal to tan of pi upon 2 minus alpha. Substituting this, the value of 2i is equal to 2 pi upon sine alpha times in brackets pi upon 2 minus tan inverse of tan of pi upon 2 minus alpha. This simplifies to 2 pi upon sine alpha times in brackets pi upon 2 minus in brackets pi upon 2 minus alpha. Pi upon 2 cancels within the brackets. 2 cancels across the left hand side and the right hand side and therefore the value of i is equal to pi alpha divided by sin alpha, which is the required answer.